yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'll clap it up for that beautiful face right there. OMG. <laughs> One more time. OMG. She's beautiful. So beautiful. So kind. <laughs> Come on in the room, everybody. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're here. We're here. We're here. I'm going to keep clapping for that beautiful face over there. All right. My Lord. That's, 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 that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, Facebook. Welcome, YouTube. Welcome. I, I, we still don't have a name for this. <laughs> we still don't have a name for Uh-oh. What's that? What you doing? You touch it, stuff. Yep. Sorry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, everybody. As you come in, please, please give us a like. Give us a share. Share it with your friends. Share it with your relatives. Share it at everybody. Oh, tonight's going to be a good one. Tonight's going to be a good one. You excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes. 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 It's an I'm exciting in. week. Yes. I'm excited to be here with you. You touching the mic again. You playing with stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. What is that? Okay. Okay. Like I see on some of our production sets, uh, turn your phones off. <laughs> <laughs> welcome 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 everybody come on as you as you're coming in uh our facebook audience please let us know where you're coming from uh welcome 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 tell us where you're uh where you're coming from we want to thank all of our friends and loved ones who are joining us live yes indeed Yes, indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, look at that cutie over there. Y'all see that her? Y'all see that her? <laughs> Beautiful hair. Check out this yes, indeed. Cousin Wabed has joined us. Thanks for joining, cousin. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining this. If you are uh, if you are here and you uh, are joining us by way of uh, Facebook, uh, by way of YouTube, please give us a like and share. Share with your friends and family. Uh, tonight is going to be a good night. We're just going to wait a couple of minutes and just chop it up a little bit. I'm excited. I'm your host, uh, Lamont Warren, and my lovely co-host over here. Hello, this, Linda Warren. This is Linda Warren. Oh, my goodness. I like the hair, y'all. I don't know about y'all. I like the hair. <laughs> thank you. Babe. Thank you. Uh, good God. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. Welcome, 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 welcome. Wherever hey, you're coming in from. Hey, Stella. You see the people coming in? Okay, I'm waiting for some of these chats to show up. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening. Good Thanks evening. Thanks for joining us. Good evening to our Facebook audience. Good, good evening to our YouTube audience. Welcome, welcome. Listen, we got some, we got a lot of stuff to talk about uh, today. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. It's a lot going on uh, in in the kingdom, in the world uh, at large, as it relates to the topic of discussion that we're going to be uh, discussing today. So, again, as you're coming in, uh, please drop us a like, give us a like and a share. Uh, as we uh, proceed on tonight, Jesus loves the little children. And also, before yes. we jump all the way in, just yeah. let us know you can hear us okay. I think we're good, but I want to yeah, 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 make yeah, sure. Yeah. So let just us give know. Give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Give us a thumbs up if you if you can hear us, if you can see us, if the stream is coming through live, if, if it's coming through clear, if you can hear us, let us know if you hear any buzzing or any any uh, other ambient noise, just I let us know. thumbs up, so we're good. Hey, Judy. Hey, hey. Thanks for joining. Hey, hey. Yes, it's so thumbs good to up. see the family in the house. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for joining. Hey, Stella. Mute your phone. I hear you. Oh, you hear it. I got to mute myself. Yes, Julie. 
Hey, Judy, Stella. Judy. Baby. Judy. <laughs> Judy. Judy. <laughs> Cousin Judy, welcome, 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 welcome. Listen, uh, we got some good stuff to talk about. So let us, uh, we got the thumbs up that we sound good. Yes. Yep. We get, we, we're looking good. Okay. All Especially right. this one over here. Oh, my All goodness. Right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So uh, tonight, tonight, uh, you know, our homework was go- was to go into uh, look at episode three mm-hmm. of The Chosen and to uh, to to uh, break down and absorb uh, the, the lessons and themes. And let me just go back a second before we go into that. Right. Because I'm sure people are asking, like, OK, OK, Lamont Lindo, like why y'all what what is it about going into the chosen and on why uh this direction right and so just for some of you who are just joining us and just kind of tuning in to what we're doing here uh we talked about a couple of weeks ago um in our launch that um it was important for us um a lot of times uh i I don't know about you i'm a visual learner and uh, there are a lot of things that I, I, I uh, get to understand better and more fully when I have a visual. Mm-hmm. And so as we embarked on this goal of, of, of going forth and the things that God has given us to do uh, with the resources and the, uh, and, and the technology that we have, and most importantly, the word that he put down on the inside of our heart, mm-hmm. uh, we decided a few weeks ago that we would leverage uh, we would leverage the um, uh, the production, the chosen. And mm-hmm. uh, I know some of you may have uh, been watching and following, and some people uh, don't know. Uh, some of our followers uh, have and supporters have uh, said, man, I got to catch up. I heard about it, but, mm-hmm. man, I'm hearing so much about it now uh, that it's, it's, it's in every nation, it's in every language, mm-hmm. and it's a phenomenal production illustrating uh, the life and times of Jesus. And so uh, as a, not only as a preacher of the gospel, but also as a creative, uh, it really stood out to me as an opportunity to leverage, to revisit the story of Jesus, yes. right? Yes. In the midst of all of the things that are going on in the earth, mm-hmm. uh, all of the things that are being taught and shared and uh, it's important to us to return back uh, to uh, a, a historical biblical understanding of Jesus, mm-hmm. bringing Jesus back to the forefront yes. of our conversation, right? There's a lot of different things uh, uh, being shared in the, in the various media outlets. There are a lot of things being discussed uh, in Christendom. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are a lot of things, and, and so... Our focus here is to bring us back uh, to the place where we fall in love once again Mm -hmm. with Jesus and his story and what he came to do. And so no better opportunity than now in leveraging this great production Mm -hmm. that is being seen worldwide, mostly for free, right? Yes, for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, if right now, if you if you haven't heard of The Chosen Right now, what you want to do is go to thechosen.tv. Uh, you can watch it on the website. There is also a uh, an app, right? Yes. An app that you can download mm-hmm. and follow along and watch all of the available seasons. Right now, we're in season, uh, what, what season are we in? We're still in season one. We're st- yeah. Well, we're in season one, but the chosen as Oh, a, season four. They're, yeah. they're in season four. So season four... Season four is in the theaters right now mm-hmm. uh, in select theaters. And so uh, and so we're leveraging this great production to bring the conversation back to Jesus, mm-hmm. back to the word of God. And so uh, so that's our goal. That's that's what our objective is uh, with our uh, our podcast, Bible cast, whatever. Mm-hmm. We still ain't <laughs> named it yet, y'all. So we're just going to continue to go forward and. Uh, the word. So, anything you wanted to share about no, that? I just wanted to say that the name of the app is the chosen app. It's yes, the chosen app. The chosen app. So, uh, right now, my wife will put that. She'll she'll put that in the chats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll put that in the chat, and we'll put that in the uh, Facebook chat as well as the YouTube chat. 
So you will have that so that you can follow along with us. Many of our supporters and followers have started to watch and catch up because they heard so much about it, but they never actually had the opportunity to watch it. And I'm telling you, it is worth your while. So uh, you will not be disappointed. And so it'll bring the conversation back to the word of God. One of the things that was very important to us as well, and coming back to a place where we're loving the word of God again, yes, right? Where we're falling in love again with Jesus, first of all, and falling in love with the word of God. You know, my mentor used to say some time ago, uh, he said, he said, Lamont, people who love good preaching, but they don't necessarily love the word. Mm. Took me a few years to really understand that and, 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 and feel that. But it's so true that the, uh, people love good preaching, great teaching, great oratory uh, uh, experiences. Uh, but the real litmus test, the real, uh, the real way that you can tell if we love the word of God is based upon how much time we spend in it. All right. And so that's how we're conformed and transformed into the image and likeness of Christ is by spending that time in his love letters, in his revealed word to us. Mm -hmm. And so, again, so we chose to take this direction. Hey, Tashi, uh, my friend from work. God bless you. Uh, Georgia is in the house. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah. Tashi. Yeah. So uh, in the chat, if you if you if you uh, if you're joining us from anywhere else in the world, please let us know. Welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, we, we wanted to leverage this opportunity to use this production again mm -hmm. to talk about uh, the word of God, to bring emphasis back to Jesus. Yes, absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about how, imp how, how and why that is important to you as well? Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put always, you on the spot. Yes. You knew I'm gonna do it. Yes. No, I think you know when you first started talking to me about this, and well, just us talking around, yes. you know, the chosen series and everything, the different episodes, and um, but when you came up with the the conversation or the title, if you would, um, yes, falling back in love with the Word of God. First of all, I just want to say that that's just who uh, Lamont is. Yeah. He is a teacher of the Word. He uh, preaches the word. He's a lover. He's a student of the word and he loves it. So I, um, so I just thought it was fitting um, because that's who you are. Yes. And I felt that, um, and then it, and it reminded me of my love for the word yes. as well, you know, grow, uh, coming into the faith and, you know, um, just exploring the word for myself and learning, you know, developing my relationship with Jesus through his word, that's where it began for me. Yes. So when you said, you know, falling in love, it's one thing to talk about who Jesus is, mm -hmm. but it's another thing to talk about the study of the word right, and falling. Right, right. It all, it's all connected to him. Right. But when you get back to um, the word where it mm -hmm. all began, yes. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it, it's just, it, it, it pulls on your heartstrings. It does. So I think for me, it was that, rekindling for people or um yes even um um for those because i don't want to sound like we don't uh love the word or right, we right, fell right. away from the word but right you know it's just to be refreshed every day yes it, it just made me think of that as well like yes. just the refreshing and just constantly staying in the word of god every day yes. you know for our lives and our our minds and hearts so i right. i just i love the whole uh Con, well, not concept, but the title that you came up with, because yes. it was just, it just was a depiction of who you are. Yeah. So I, and, and who we are really, right, you know, right. so the word is, it's, it's, it's um, living and it's breathing yes. and all that it says about it. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what it means to me. So, yes. yes. Oh, and the, another uh, idea, um, other thing we, we, we were thinking about uh, as we proceeded into this effort is, you know, I don't ever want to be in a place, right, mm -hmm. where uh, the word of God itself, mm -hmm. uh, the word of God is not enough. That, yes, you always right? say that, yeah. I, I, I never want to get away from uh, the story and mm -hmm. sacrifice of Jesus. Yes. No longer having the impact on my life mm. like it did in the beginning. You could, because, because. It's a lot of cool stuff being talked about out there, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of uh, 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 um, 
you know, and I don't know that we can categorize all of it as the gospel, mm -hmm. but uh, it seems like the voices and, and, and the, the narratives that are being discussed are, are, are it's turning us inward, right? It's about mm. us. It's about our feelings. It's yeah. about our uh, dream. It's about our this, and, and it's turning us inward, yes. right? And so it, it's so anti the message that Jesus came to preach. Mm -hmm. And so I think by uh, we always talking about uh, adjusting our gaze, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Adjusting our gaze back on Christ, yes, right? Yes. Uh, that he must increase, right? Mm -hmm. That we might, we might decrease. We need to decrease that he might increase. Yes. And so I never want to come to the place where the story of Jesus, the mm -hmm. life of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus is no longer has an effect on me. Yeah. Right. And that is the very essence of our, of this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Period. I yeah. mean, for those who might, who don't know now, you know, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you but don't that is know, the, now you know, that is the very essence yes. of, I believe, you know, the messages God gave you, gave us. Yes. Um, because it always needs to have an impact. You yes. Know, the story of Jesus and the gospel. Yes. Of Jesus Christ. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. So we got Tiflon in the house. Hey, hey friend. Hey, <laughs> Our friend Latifa, all the way from Georgia. She's in Georgia. Georgia, Georgia is in the building again. <laughs> yes. God bless you. Welcome. By Thank way you. Of uh, Delco. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. By way of Delco. Delaware County. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and, and, and rocking with us on today. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, a friend of the family, friend of the show, <laughs> like Joe Budden says. So listen, I want to I want to invite also our Facebook people to also uh, come and follow us on YouTube too, so you can get these notifications. Although I'm going to continue to uh, stream to. The Facebook platform. I want to invite you to join us over on YouTube. Uh, the link will be in the uh, in the comment section for you. Are you putting the bear with us? Because I bear with are us. You, yeah. Are you putting the link in the YouTube? Because I don't have YouTube. I, I'm going. I'm putting the link in the YouTube. Okay. All right. While you talk to the while people for that. a few okay, minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this leads us into what this week before we jump into the chosen season three. I mean. Not season three, episode three. Episode three, three yeah. Um, this, what we were talking about, having a love for the word, mm -hmm. Jesus, you know, the gospel always being at the heart, you know, just having that impact that it needs to have on a daily basis. Absolutely. It leads us into this week that we're in. Absolutely. Yes. Known as Holy Week or Passion Week. Yes. Um, so we are going to talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. We have to acknowledge what this week represents. Yes. Um, This historical Yes. Week. And for me, it's really, for whatever reason, um, it's hitting different for mm -hmm. me. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just, I was sharing with Lamont how it just, for some reason, just the, the holiness of God and the holy, the, the, you know, what he's, what Jesus came to do. And, and, you know, I'm reading a couple of devotionals about that week and, um, there are some really good ones out there that have just kind of um, they're like eight days and they're talking about, um, you know, what Jesus did that whole week and the things, all the things that transpired from um, uh, Mary pouring the alabaster box, you know, on his feet and anointing him to uh, Judas and him, his betrayal and um, to all of the different things that transpired during the week. And, the realization that this week was a little dark, actually. You know, yes. it was even though it was a Passover time. Yes. And um, and Lamont's going to get into a little bit more depth with that. But it was really a dark week. So I've been really reflecting on that and what that week was about and what it was leading up to and how, and Jesus's posture. Right. During the week, I was reading the Gospels and um, Matthew and just how he was telling the disciples what was to come like that Friday, like yes. say it was a Monday he was yes. preaching. He, I mean, it was a lot of preaching going on that week yes. and he was doing a lot of preaching and teaching, mm -hmm. telling them what was to come by the end of the week. Right. And so it was a very heavy week and I just really been reflecting on Jesus's posture mm -hmm. during Holy week, his posture and how he, his gaze yeah. was on the father. Yeah. As he was approaching his death. 
So yes. yeah. Um, and the joy set before that him. part. Yes, that I came across that scripture in Hebrews. That one right there. Yeah, in Hebrews. Uh, and, and it's it's a uh, it's a striking contrast, right? Uh, uh, it was a heavy week. It was a heavy week. Yet and still, the joy set before him. I'm going to find that scripture, in right? Hebrews. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so let's dive into the, a little bit of that, right? Um, so we we just uh, this Sunday uh, celebrated uh, Palm Sunday, mm-hmm. right? Most of most of us in our local churches uh, were involved in the uh, in the Palm Sunday celebration, right? Um, and uh, understanding the historical significance mm-hmm. of that as Jesus, um, the Passover lamb, mm-hmm. enters into the home of Israel, mm-hmm. right? And so uh, uh, in preparation for Passover, uh, what will happen is uh, a lamb for every house, mm-hmm. right? In every house was to have a lamb. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I when I really begin to dive in and understand what was happening that week, Im- imagine Jesus who's now in this moment, uh, the Passover lamb, entering into the home of Israel. And so every house will have a lamb, mm-hmm. and every home will have to live with uh, the lamb for five days and then sacrifice him. Mm-hmm. Now, any of us uh, pet uh, lovers, uh, uh, you know, we dog owners over here. Uh, I know some of y'all cat owners. Y'all, y'all shout shout out in the in the comment se- section if you have uh, animals. <laughs> 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 now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why this is significant. Because uh, anyone that's uh, uh, ha- has had a pet uh, knows how quickly uh, you begin to bond and and emotionally bond with with a pet. But can you imagine five days out, five days of bonding. And then on the fifth day, you have to sacrifice him. No, say it, tell it, say it to them. Like you said it to me. So it, cause it, it really, it really went deep. Yeah. 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 And yeah. He talked about our dog Whitaker. We love Whitaker. Yes. <laughs> we love Whit. Yes. We have two dogs, Whitaker yes. and Luke. Yes. Whitaker is this, the mushy, uh, so pit bull, emotional, yeah. emotional support dog. Pit bull, yeah. American bulldog. Yeah. He likes to kiss and, you know, lick uh-huh. how they are. They're, they're lap dogs, right? Uh-huh. And Lamont, he said, you know, like he just said, he yeah. had a dog for five days, you know, five mm-hmm. days. And then at the end of the week, you got to slit his throat. Yeah. Yeah. That I think that hits a little different when you say it like that. It hit way different because, you know? because it's easy to read the story, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 not have a emotional connection to it, mm-hmm. and, and I think it's these kind of uh, these type of uh, observations that we make through the text, mm-hmm. as we seeing Jesus become the propitiation, who, who becomes the 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 Passover Lamb mm-hmm. Himself, which uh, for thousands of years was celebrated. Uh, as a shadow of what he would come to do. Yeah. And to realize even at that point, people were still missing, Mm -hmm. missing it. Like during these monumental historical celebrations, Mm. an historical moment is taking place. And the Passover lamb, like they have celebrated this for hundreds of years. If if you're in your thirties at that point, you've had at least 30 Passovers. Right. If you're 40, you had at least 40. If you're 12, you had at least 12. So you, you, you're, you're, you're rehearsing this reality, the the, the shadow of this reality. Mm -hmm. And then the reality shows up. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so what, what begins to happen then is as we are making these, connections and understanding what Jesus, it becomes more potent, powerful and, and personal to us. Yes. Not just an event that happened in the book, right? right? Correct. You're seeing live and in living color, the sacrifice that Jesus would become. So he, Palm Sunday, we're celebrating, mm-hmm. we're inviting him in. There's this excitement, right? Don't last long. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and when you all get to some of you who have not seen, I don't want to give it away. Yeah. Spoiler, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the chosen has just, they did a very good job of yes. putting, um, 
bringing the, the scriptures to life. Yes. I'll just say that. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll yeah. just leave it at that. But, yeah. um, yeah, the reality. Yeah. I think you know, what you said, the reality, when you just sit back and take a moment to think like this week, you know, we had, what's today? Wednesday. Yep. yep. It's Wednesday. You know, it was like a week like any other, mm-hmm. week, but it wasn't, it wasn't. you know, I'm just yeah. saying the days of the week were what they were, right? you know, and, um, but the reality of what was going on. Yes. And to sit back now and to think about it and reflect, it's like, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus, yeah, Jesus really did pay it all. I mean, mm-hmm. he, he, he. You could sing that song different now, right? Mm-hmm. It hit, it hit it's different. It's just different when you sit back and I, I, and that's falling back in love with Jesus. Yes. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. That, yes. that's, that's when you can take the word and, and really sit with it and mm-hmm. reflect on it. Not just because it's Passover week or passion week, but just mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. Every day. Think about his life. So. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So we're, we're, we're heading to, right. And, and Jeff, we're just giving you a roadmap of what's happening historically and what's, what's happening in this passion week, right. Mm-hmm. As we talk more about Jesus and his life and uh, uh, his life uh, his death and his resurrection, right? So here we are. We 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 are now approaching a uh, Good Friday, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're approaching Good Friday. We're we're approaching the time where the Passover lamb is slain, mm. is sacrificed, right? So you go you go from Sabbath on Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, you, the celebration of with the Psalms. The with palms. the palms, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, we always get those two <laughs> words messed up. Uh, with the Palm Sunday, right? Uh-huh. Palm Sunday is a Sabbath, mm-hmm. right? Uh, Shabbat, which uh, we talked about last, which week. we talked about last week. Resting uh, and all we're that. resting in God, we're resting in Jesus, right? And so then uh, we move into the season of Passover, right? Mm-hmm. And then Jesus, the Passover Lamb, is then sacrificed. Mm -hmm. wow so to your point it was a real every it was a whole lot going on it was a lot going on people were traveling Mm -hmm. from all over the world yes Yes. i mean it was just so much and again Mm -hmm. you know earlier on we talked about this podcast and we talked about the word and just the importance of using your imagination yes you know um and in the word it just comes alive and you kind of put things in perspective like that's like everybody coming to DC, yes. you know, from all over the you know world, just flying in. To, yes, you know, it was a lot going on. Yes, and and here comes this: the, the people were in the market buying mm-hmm. their lambs, right, to sacrifice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the lamb was in the midst of the, all of that. Like, it, the, <laughs> mm. yeah, the lamb himself was in the midst of it all. Being the lamb and, and the people not recognizing that he was the lamb. Yeah. That, that, that was powerful. Some mm-hmm. of them, some of them did recognize it. Some of them suddenly remembered uh, John the Baptist's words. Mm-hmm. Behold the lamb of God mm-hmm. who takes away the sins of the world. Yeah. And you know, I don't want to, I'm not go trying ahead, to rush ahead. or push or anything, no, no, but no, you know, it, to include, uh, in addition to, you know, the adults, and, yes. and people um, noticing who he was. You know who else noticed who he was? Oh, yeah. Who that? The, the little the children. children. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a good segue into that. But excellent segue, the my children. love. Exa- yeah. Yeah, excellent. The, yes. The children recognize. Yeah. And yeah. we don't, like, we're going to talk about the scripture in Matthew mm-hmm. 18. Mm-hmm. But um, um, we don't talk about children a lot. Yes. You know, when it comes to scripture right. and stuff like that. But they did have an encounter. Oh, yes, they, they did. were among their mm-hmm. parents, mm-hmm. you know, during this time. Yes. During this week. Yes. I guarantee Jesus came across a couple of kids. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, and chill, you know how children yes. are. Yes. And their their innocence and their purity and uh-huh. all of that. Yeah. So Oh, and yeah. Jesus loved the little children. Jesus we're loved talk the about little children. Today. So, yeah. yeah. So I, I thought we set up like uh, to be in alignment with what's happening mm-hmm. this Passion Week. So that that's a g- excellent, great segue. Um, I'm reminded of uh, of the uh, 
the uh the reel that you said you you you, you showed oh, me earlier yeah where uh where the little boy was uh asking his mom like does does she believe in god yeah and uh the way she was wrecked mm. you know <laughs> he uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise He's, the bible says out of the mouth of babe yeah he has ordained praise. What's the other scripture? A yeah. child shall lead them. And a child shall lead another, them. Absolutely. I'm going to be quoting scripture. Come on now. <laughs> Quote those scriptures, baby. <laughs> but yeah. So we don't, it's, it's seldom, um, do we talk about the role of a child in the mm-hmm. gospels, you know, or yeah. Jesus's encounters and yeah. the chosen, they did a great, I thought that was, I don't know whose idea that was or yeah. whatever, but it was a short, um, yeah, it episode, was a short episode, but, but it was so significant. Yes, it was. And I think that the fact that they took that time out to make that episode mm-hmm. is worth the conversation. It's yes. worth acknowledging the role of children and his and, and Jesus's relationship and yes. relating and how he related to children. Yes, yes. So and of course, you know that that scripture will cover it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So so while you're there, why don't you do us the honors, right? Of mm-hmm. uh, of of uh, going to the, reading the scripture for us. Okay. Is that all right? That's all right. All right. I think I can do that. I think I can handle that. <laughs> all right. So let's go to the word. So I'm reading um, in the New King James Version. Okay. And the subtitle, which is interesting, it says, Who is the greatest? I thought that was interesting. Mm-hmm. I just saw that. And so I'm going to start at verse 1. Yes. And it says, at, um, this is uh, Matthew 18 and 1. Mm-hmm. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, who then mm. is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Yes. Then Jesus called a little child to him, set him in the midst of them and said, "Assuredly, I say to you, unless you are converted and become as a little child, as little children, mm-hmm. you will, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh my God. Therefore, whoever humbles himself, it is as this little child mm. is the greatest. Mm. Come on here <laughs> in oh the God. kingdom of heaven. You know, we got to go back and get that. Mm-hmm. Whoever receives one little child mm-hmm. like this in my name receives me. Wow. That's, that's a powerful, that's powerful. Mm. <laughs> Notice now in your Bible, it, it's it's probably headlined or or titled the greatest. Who is the greatest? Who who is the greatest? Right. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I I don't want to get ahead of too many people who are, have not seen the chosen yet. Mm-hmm. But uh, there is this great conversation uh, 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 between two brothers uh, uh, and their mother, who's pushing, right? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's pushing for uh, these guys to be and position of power, right? <laughs> um, uh, uh, you know, uh, they're asking for sides that they will sit on, uh, places of honor uh, in the kingdom of God. Okay. And so this, 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 this scene places us right in the middle of the conversation of how Jesus sees greatness, mm. Uh-oh. right? And, and it's in stark contrast <laughs> To what we consider Uh-oh. greatness, mm-hmm. right? And so Jesus, in this moment, in in this episode, chap, uh, uh, episode three, mm-hmm. Jesus loves the little children. He's having this. He's uh, it's based on that uh, uh, on that particular uh, scripture. Uh, Jesus now, in the midst of this conversation about who will be great or what it is to be great in the kingdom of God, mm. uh, Jesus pulls a child. Onto the scene. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I, I love how Jesus just, he'll rock us, man. Yes. He, he'll, he'll expose us and then he'll rock us to our <laughs> core. Like, like everything you think, you know, everything that you think is, you know, it, I, I heard it said that the kingdom is upside down, right? Mm-hmm. Like everything about the kingdom is, 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 is uh, a contrast to how the world operates. Correct. Right. Yeah. And so these children, uh, and we talked about that earlier, how uh, you could tell that, uh, you know, that they many of them went to Hebrew school. Right. right. And they've mm-hmm. been taught. And um, and 
uh, they have been influenced mm -hmm. by uh, their teachers and, and perhaps even their parents with the nomenclature of what the kingdom of heaven would look like, right? right. Because many of them had a militaristic view of what and how Jesus would come. Right, the Messiah, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> so in this episode, you see the little boy talking about, well, uh, I heard the Messiah was going to come. The Messiah was going to come and do this, that, and the third, mm -hmm. right? Like, he was going to come in full military power, mm -hmm. right? And, and, to, and, 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 and episodes before... You can hear the same language yes. being used, right? Yes. That uh, when Messiah comes, he going to rid us of these godless Romans, mm -hmm. right? He's going to deliver us out of their hands. And so in this scene, you can see the children being uh, influenced yeah, by, mm -hmm. by that type of understanding, right? right? And so Jesus uh, in uh, Matthew uh, 18, he's, he's talking about greatness into the kingdom of God. And then what is what does he say? Let's look at that verse again. Okay. That's says, powerful. Um, Surely I say to you, mm -hmm. unless you are converted. Yes. That, that in itself. Is oh, boring. God. That's 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 heavy. Converted. And that's become heavy. As, <laughs> as little children. Yes. You will be you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Therefore, whoever humbles himself. Come on. Now. As this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Ooh. So in the kingdom, mm -hmm. up is down, down <laughs> is up. <laughs> Somebody mm -hmm. put that in the comments. In the kingdom, up is down, mm -hmm. down is up. He <laughs> said, unless you become like these children, mm -hmm. humble yourself, right? And what does that look like for us, right? It's 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 uh it's being like Paul said that you know Paul lists his accomplishments, almost his degrees, his status, his station in life, and he said, "I consider all of that dung, mm. right?" In comparison to knowing Christ, yes. right? So he humbled himself, he reduced himself, he decreased. That God might increase, right? Yes. And so uh, the concept of the kingdom is humble yourself mm -hmm. in the mighty sight in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. Yes. And so Jesus uses this great uh, contrast of greatness by using the child, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And He said, unless you become like this child, mm -hmm. you cannot inherit. Ooh, God, mm -hmm. you cannot inherit the kingdom of God, unless you become like a child. Let's talk a little bit about the posture of the children yes, in, in, the, yes. in the sitcom and yes. the um, chosen. Yeah, so, so it begins with the little girl, Abigail. Uh-huh. Abigail. Yeah. I love Abigail. Comes from humble means. Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. Um, Back in that day, and you all will know that Lamont is the historian, you know, he, he knows, the <laughs> I know scriptures too, but he's, He's he loves a lot more the history. He's better with that um, than I am. And so young ladies, little girls did not go to Hebrew school. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But that did not mean that they were not learned. Exactly. Exactly. And little Abigail, she was just uh, you know out and about playing with her little doll and whatnot. Yes. Um, and she happens on she happens up. She goes into a field and she happens up on Jesus's um, little. uh I don't know what to call it. His his his, his uh, camp. It was basically camp. like yeah. like he his was camp. camped he out. He had his tent. Yeah, his yeah, fire. Jesus was camped out. Correct. So she happens up on his camp and mm -hmm. looks around. You know, like kids do. Yes. Curious. Yes. And um, and then she leaves. Right. He didn't. No, yeah. Or did he so, come on the scene? So just before he comes out, mm -hmm. so she starts playing with all of all of the uh, like he had he had a fire uh pit, mm -hmm. and then he had built something. Okay. Uh, yeah. He, he built he built like a mini like a little structure, uh, like 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 a a a, a, a skilled, you know, a person, mm -hmm. uh, a, a you know, a carpenter would right. or a craft, and he had his knives and yeah, stuff out. or a craftsman as the terminology right. he used in the episode, mm -hmm. and so he built this thing where she could she came and she played with uh what he had built. Mm -hmm. But then she heard him and then 
she saw some food, but she had the opportunity to take it, but she did not. Yes. That was, that was a great, that was a great observation of what she did in that, in that moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, and then from there, she, uh, she just, kids, there's something else, right? Yeah. She yeah. She kind of, um, yeah. I think she did see him, right? That same, anyway. She, she's, she, he, he never, I don't want to say he didn't see her. Mm-hmm. I want to say the, the assumption was, uh, 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 what I got out of that particular scene when mm-hmm. it shifted, they hadn't actually met yet. Okay. Yeah. That's what right? I'm thinking. Oh. So she, so she, y'all, we don't watch this thing a few times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't watch this thing a few times. Yeah. Right. So what, what happens is, uh, she leaves before he could come out. Okay. Right. She hears him rummaging about in the back mm-hmm. and then she, and then she leaves. I'm just trying to figure out because the next day she was anxious to ha- get, get her friend, um, Joshua. Yeah. Right. To come back with yes. him. And, and, and she was like, oh, he's nice. I, you know, I know he's nice. So yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So the next day, let's go to Joshua coming up <laughs> Yeah. when they actually do meet him. Uh huh. And, um, Joshua, I, 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 so for those of you who are just joining us, we get yeah. all into the some, the yes. little bit of the minutia and the details. We're just using yes. our holy imagination, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and so just like a child who you taught not to talk to strangers, he was right. like, oh, no, oh, I'm yeah, good. Oh, yeah, he wasn't happy. You know, he was yeah. just like, okay, he was a little skeptical. This mm-hmm. is a stranger. We're out here in the woods. What mm-hmm. are you doing? You're crazy, Abigail. Right. And she's like, come on, come on. You know, he's right. nice. I'm telling you. Right. You know, she discerned him very quickly. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Very quickly. Yes, she did. Like kids do. Exactly. Kids know the truth. Yes, they do. <laughs> they, they do. do. They do. You know, one of the other things that I saw was um, um, Abigail's, and, and, and this is an attribute that I thought was powerful, mm-hmm. as we're talking about uh, returning to a love uh, for the for the word of God and love for Jesus. Mm-hmm. What I observed was the wonder mm, that yes in her eyes, the 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 curiosity, yes, uh, the sense of 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 a wonderment mm-hmm. and wanting to explore mm-hmm. and be in his presence. You know what? See, this is why we're doing. <laughs> this is why we're starting the podcast because of you, dude. Because of you. No, <laughs> no, that's so good. Though. Yes. Yeah, so you said the wonder, the wonder she wanted to explore. Yes, and she wanted to be in his presence. Yes, that's it. This is the end, y'all. Thank you for yeah, coming yeah. out. God bless you. Good night, now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that alone. Yeah, talking about humbling yourself. Yeah. The wonder. Somebody put yes. that in the chat, please. Yes. I yes. can't. I can't multitask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But put that in the chat. The wonder, wonder. <laughs> the exploring, yes. and wanting to be in his presence. Yes. Folks, that that that. Where, where do we go from here? <laughs> where do we go from here? No, <laughs> that's but that's beautiful. Place. That's yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and it go. You know, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm I'm at a loss for words at this moment. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> which is seldom, which is seldom. So yeah, that that thank that you, brother. And, 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 and check this Sorry. out. This mm-hmm. was before. She even saw him. Oh my! Oh, oh, uh oh! That, 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 that blew my whole head off. Uh oh! Like that wonder existed before there was a formal invitation. Mm-hmm. Right? She was in his. She was in his presence. She was in his his space, area yeah. of both. She was in his space mm-hmm. and was able to tell, right, the kind mm-hmm. of person who he, he was. Yeah, correct. And without. A formal introduction at that point, she was hungry to come back to see him and not just come back to see him, but bring somebody with her. Speaking of hunger, Mm -hmm. um, she was hungry and she was hungry. Yes, she was. You know? Wow. Yeah. She, cause she, well, they mentioned it later. Yes. You know, she had food, Mm -hmm. but even in, because she had those principles, she was taught. Right. You know, she had character about herself. Yes, she did. She didn't steal That's anything right. from him. Come on, somebody. Even though she was hungry <laughs> and she she had such a wonder to come back to see more. Yes. That hunger, you know, you're talking about, you know, that thirst and the hunger. It, yes. it goes, she knew it was something more than those grapes that she could have stole. Exactly. 
Exactly. That that wouldn't exactly. have fulfilled her in that moment. Yes. But to come back to see what the real Ooh. meal was. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the real meal. <laughs> You know? Come on now. Somebody put that in the chat. The <laughs> real meal. <laughs> hey, Dad. So your brother Major is on. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. And Shantae done joined us. And Dad. Yes, Hello, my family. Dad, my cousin, and my father is here. And your brother. My brother is here. So, Thank yeah. Y'all. But Thank y'all. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so let's talk about when she comes back again. I kind of went there, but then. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Bought, so, she bought all the, well, she bought all the friends. Well, right. She brought Joshua first. And he she kept, brought, and that was good. That was a great. Mm-hmm. That was a great uh, 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 um, I- example mm-hmm. of evangelism. Uh, <laughs> and it, it also was a great example of um, being safe. Yes. Being cautious, being, mm-hmm. you know, in some type of order. Right. She 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 brought somebody with her. And he acknowledged that. And, and she, he acknowledged that. He said, that. I'm glad yeah. you did that. Was smart. Yeah. You know, yeah. she. um. And then I loved how he approached Joshua the Brave. Yeah. You know, he just kept calling him that, building yes. him up, building him up. Yes. Joshua the Brave. Yes. You know? I love that. That was mm-hmm. powerful. Gave him a new name. Before Peter got his name, he, <laughs> he gave Joshua the Great. <laughs> the, the Brave. Him, yeah. gave, gave, the Brave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gave him his name. Yes. And so as, as the story continues, uh, as the uh, season three, uh, season uh, one, episode three continues, mm-hmm. uh it's interesting that these children came to see him uh, not in uh, not in a, 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 a glorified sense. Like mm-hmm. he wasn't in that moment a man of military power. He mm-hmm. wasn't uh, he was wasn't of the elite mm-hmm. society. So by all accounts, nomenclature of that time. Uh, he didn't look like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he didn't have a physical <laughs> disposition of what they might have been thinking about how the Messiah would look and come. Right. He was he was homeless. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. He was he was he was cooking on the outside. He, he made a pit. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, uh, he was he was using his tools, his creativity to build things. And yes. He wasn't even in his teaching ministry. yet, right? right. According as he was telling the kids. Right. And that was another observation mm-hmm. I made. Let's go all the way back to yeah. the beginning. Yeah. When he was praying. Oh, God. Yes. Let's yes. talk about that because, and I mean, I, I don't want to stay there long, but it's just, I just don't want to miss that part yes. because we're talking about using our holy imagination mm-hmm. and thinking about, you know, Jesus yeah. and his travel. So he had traveled from wherever he was coming from. Right. And again, for those of you all who are just joining us, we, you know, I always just like to reiterate that. Yeah. Because the chosen eight, those folks, they reiterate that this is a supplement to that's the right. Bible. It's the su- a supplement to the word. So that's right. This things may not be in chronological order and all that, but. Yeah. The point is he was coming from a place. Mm-hmm. He set up camp and, um, you know, the little girl, she had asked me, do you have friends? Do you have, where's your family? Yeah. Where's your house? Yeah. How, how do you make yeah. money? You know? <laughs> and, but in the beginning, what, what I observed, he was, it was intense. Yes, it was. The way he was kind of praying and sweating yes. and it was, you know, it was at nighttime. Yes. So I don't know. It might've been hot, but whatever. He had a fire <laughs> and all that, but it was, it just looked intense. It did. Yes. Yes. Like him and the father having, you yes. know, a conversation. And it just, I like, as we're going back over this, because we've watched this the yes, series. Yes, we did. But just going back, looking at it through another lens and just uh, being more observant. Yes. Um, I don't know. My, my my imagination, it's been awakened. I can't say I was the one that imagined a lot, but it mm-hmm. it's just been awakened. So that moment, um, I just didn't want to miss that moment to share that part, that observation. Yeah, of absolutely. Of how it started with him in, mm-hmm. in that space that yes. he created, that she felt so welcome yes. and the other kids to right. come in. And the fact that the whole episode was really filmed in that, Yes. In his space. Yes. For the most, the majority of that episode. Yeah. So In that very humble space. Correct. Right. In that very meek and lowly space. Mm-hmm. He, he wasn't found in a, t- uh, a, a castle or, right. or, or these amazing quarters. Uh, he was in, he was in the woods. Right. He, all the accounts, uh, homeless, uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, just, 
a regular human, yeah, yeah. having a human experience, mm -hmm. um, as, as well as interceding and praying outdoors and agonizing uh, uh, as well. You could see the agony. You could mm -hmm. see. You could see the uh, the 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 angst, the the wrestle uh, yeah. in his face, in his uh, as he was, you know, praying. And and mm -hmm. I imagine. These are the kind of prayers that he was praying when he asked his disciples, you know, could you pray with me for an hour? Because he's agonizing about what's uh, what's, what's getting to ready to happen, mm -hmm. and what's to come. Right. And what a amazing uh, reprieve uh, mm. to be surrounded by children. Let me tell you something. I can <laughs> honestly relate to that. Yeah. So some of you may know I used to teach a long time ago. Mm. And I've been out of the classroom for a long time. Yeah. Now in, in the position that I hold, I get to go in schools. Yeah. And when I tell you, when I go into a school, I say it gives me life. Now people say, oh, it gives me life. But I really feel a sense of yeah. like joy and just yeah. light. I just feel light. Yeah. I feel, and then I see little kids and they're just doing kid stuff and mm -hmm. it's just refreshing. Right. So I totally, I can imagine mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. he felt like. You right. know, because I know what that feels like. Everybody, some people, you know, everybody doesn't <laughs> like, they don't like children. Yeah. But when I go into a school yeah, and I see the kids, I'm like, you know, it's just like, it's just, it gives me life. Yes. It really does. I don't want to, you know, yeah, like yeah, I, said, yeah, I know yeah. that's the terminology, but that's good. it really rejuvenates me. Mm -hmm. um, and I would go so far to say is this is, it's, there's a sense of safety there. Yeah. Yeah. With children. Yeah. You know, you don't, you you don't have to be as guarded. Right. You know, or guarded at all, really. Right. You know, yeah. they're just doing kid stuff, being right. children. Right. And I think that's an excellent point you made. What a yeah. reprieve. Yes. You know, where, what is this, episode three? This is episode three. He didn't really have any encounters uh, except Mary. Yeah. And that was a heavy encounter that was well, heavy. for us. But, you know, it was that a, was heavy. Yeah. you know, but um, but him working with these kids, but the kids. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I totally can identify with great, that. great contrast, right? Mm -hmm. Too, because as we were discussing the attributes of children, mm -hmm. uh, and why in the kingdom Jesus insists that unless you become like these children, mm -hmm. you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. I think uh, a, a bigger part of the point is. Uh, as far as children's character and personalities are, they're not jaded. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they, they have not been yet influenced by a uh, grown up life. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, uh, they're not wrestling. Uh, they're not wrestling with the idea of when the Lord says something, they believe it. <laughs> You know, they, they ain't got the second guess. Like when, when, when the authority in their life speaks, there's, there's no second guess. And Jesus is like, unless you get like this, mm. oh my. cause, cause we so filled with knowledge, right? We're so filled with, uh, 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 people's opinions and philosophies and, and our and, egos. And our, oh God, our <laughs> egos. Like, just, God help us. Can I just go in right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, just stuff. Adultism. We we yeah. were adulting. And, yeah, know, we're yeah. filled with a lot of yeah, a lot. Yeah, I was just saying adult. I, 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 what did I just say today? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm over it. You know, <laughs> adulting sucks. Yeah, being an adult sucks. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, mm -hmm. you know, they're just they they're light. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, just, yeah. Yeah. And the other thing about uh, children as well, uh, and, and uh, Crystal said it. Thank you, Crystal. That, that's a powerful point. They're so innocent, mm -hmm. right? Even their questions to Jesus mm -hmm. was, was, I mean, it was heavy. Like they were, and, and Jesus was like blown away <laughs> by their, their responses. Like, he, he he was saying to uh he was saying to the boys like uh about Abigail he was like look, look she know more than y'all and y'all y'all go to Hebrew school mm -hmm. like this girl know the word mm -hmm. and how he affirmed and acknowledged them uh, because of their innocence mm -hmm. and, and and that I believe that's one of the things that God wants us to get back to when he talks about the kingdom and unless you become as a child 
come to this place with childlike faith, mm -hmm. childlike wonder, childlike curiosity, right? Mm -hmm. To be in his presence like children. Yes. I mean, Abigail went to her parents and said, can I, can I, you know, can I go again and hang out with you know, uh, what's his name? Joshua. Joshua the Brave. The, the, the Brave. And I like that she didn't lie. She had an opportunity to her mom. She said, where are you going? She's yeah. like, to the field. You know, yeah. so yeah. the the character that Abigail displayed, that that was telling yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, that was, was telling huge. as well. And um, that was huge. You know, so I could just totally appreciate the mm -hmm. posture of the kids. And then when they brought the other kids, he put them to work. Yes, he did. Listen, he let them know, hey, y'all can hang out. They, she asked, you know, is it okay if we be with you? That's powerful. Because <laughs> I heard that on so many levels. Is it okay if we be with you? <laughs> is it okay? Like, ask permission to be in the presence of the king. Like, that was that was so huge. Do we do that? Mm -hmm. do, do we bring friends to gather around the presence of the king. Guys, you are our friends. Mm. Everybody mm. tuning in, we're bringing you. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> to gather yes. around the king. To gather around You the are king. our friends, you know, yes. our family. But no, but it. in all seriousness, and I'm saying that, I'm laughing, but it's true because I, yes. you know, Lamont, he's, he would get on me, you know, say, oh, you're hiding. It is because yeah. those of you who know me, I, I could be social, but I could also be introverted as well. Yeah. You know, I could be in this house and love it, mm -hmm. you know, but to gather with people and to bring people, this is us yeah. bringing people, yes. you Into know, before the home. king and yes. just, and you know, having king, a conversation. Yes. But that, yes. you know, her question, it was, it was really cute. It was really sweet. It was. Can we be with you? Cause kids can be annoying, you know, sometimes yeah. not to me, of course, no, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> but they could be annoying, especially yeah. when it's more than one of them. Yeah. Like when they woke him up. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> they were all gathered around him. He he hadn't even cracked his eyes yeah. open and had, what, like five to seven mm -hmm. kids just looking over him. And so he put them to work, and they were happy. And, and I love when they showed the scene. Wait, don't go too far from that. Okay. He did what now? He put them to work. Come on now. <laughs> we be calling them people on Jesus. <laughs> putting the kids to work not calling the people <laughs> who people know but they were so willing yeah mm -hmm. look look at look, catch this anything to be with them oh what i gotta do i caught it what i gotta do <laughs> you know what i mean just to be with them Gosh. just to be in his presence just to be around them put me to work yeah what, what you need me to do what you need me to do Mm. I'm yeah. so I'm sorry. I'm just sitting over here getting <laughs> gospel wasted. <laughs> <They call it. laughs> just to get just Jesus to, wasted. Yeah, I love right? it. I love it. Get word it. wasted. No. Yeah. But to just be with him. Just be with him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That hit. That hit different. Mm -hmm. When you look at mm. us uh, and and. and I hate to use, no, I, I, I'm not going to say I hate, but to use a Kanye West reference in one of his songs, he was saying how uh, all of these uh, grown-up thoughts mm. are, are, are drowning out my childlike crea creativity. Mm. And I, I, he, I heard that on so many le levels, is that, you know, like, like you're saying, being so grown-up, mm -hmm. right, so full of information, so mm -hmm. full of... Uh, uh, other people's thoughts, mm. other people's concepts, uh, the world pressing in on what you should believe and how you should believe and all of these things that you have to wrestle with. But with children, when Jesus said it, that's all. That was it. That was it. Like That was it. <laughs> and, and with that said, what you were just saying, I just feel compelled to, you know, ask the, everyone watching the, you yes. know, you know, keep your children in prayer, keep children in prayer because yes. they are being impacted by adults, mm -hmm. you know, where it is pressing out the childlike mm -hmm. imagination and dreams. Yes. Some of these kids are walking around very heavy yes, and can't enjoy and get in that space of being um, childlike. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it, you know, I just, that just was on my heart and my spirit just to <clears throat> keep kids in prayer, Yes, you know, because, some of them are being robbed of that. Yeah. Yeah, you know? absolutely. They're being robbed of it. So we, we, you know, 
Yeah. Jesus loves the, the the name of the episode was Jesus loves the little children. Jesus loves the little children, and he does. Yes, he does. He does, and they love him. Yes, you know those that in this it's particularly in this um this episode they they I was gonna say when they left like the first day they were like well maybe he's a killer one kid <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah. he, that's why he's out here by himself this, yeah. that, that. but after look and even after they did the work. Mm-hmm. They were all the, the the next scene when they left. They was like, oh, da, da, da. they had so yeah. much conversation, yes, and excitement. Just Wait, not, let's not miss this point. Mm-hmm. They were singing. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Je- we Jesus can't created that point. a whole children's <laughs> choir. This is this is this is the advent of the children's <laughs> choir, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, how pleasing! Mm-hmm. Look at it. I'll never forget. I know the words. I don't, I don't know the tune. I ain't gonna try to sing it, but. <laughs> The song was "Oh, how pleasing," and mm-hmm. and it was reading from the scripture, right? Yeah. That says, "Come on, baby, good sing, sing. Get, your, get your note. Come on." <laughs> he act like he can't. He has a very nice voice for brother, those of you out here. Brother musician, put me in B flat. <laughs> <laughs> he has a very nice voice. But... Brother musician, put me in B flat. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the song was uh, um, "Oh, how pleasing." Mm-hmm. Is it for brethren to dwell together in unity? Mm. Was the song they were singing? Mm. See, I didn't even remember the words. But God Almighty, yeah. that was powerful to me. Wow, yeah. That as adults, here we go. We're wrestling with unity amongst adults. Oh, gosh, right? No. Say it ain't so. Because of our pride, our arrogance, and all that we think we know. And Jesus again says, unless you become like these children, Mm. you will never enter the kingdom of God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Empty ourselves of the things that we think we know. Yeah. And become childlike and open and receptive to. And so Jesus was able to lead the chorus Mm -hmm. in the song on unity. Come on. Am I to suppose from that episode in that moment that it's easier for children Mm -hmm. to be unified and get on the same page than it is for adults? Well, Lord have mercy. Well, well, well. Lord have mercy. Again, I'm I'm speechless. I don't know about that. Like, what do you say? What, what do you? What do you? Uh, what do you say? Oh, here? how pleasing! I thought that was an interesting, mm-hmm. uh, uh, creative decision mm-hmm. in the show. Out of all of the things they could have been singing, mm-hmm. right? Uh, they could have been singing "Jesus loved the little children," right? All the little children of the world. But right. no, oh, how pleasing mm. is it for brethren? Or brothers to dwell together in unity. Mm-hmm. What are they talking about in the chat? Nothing much. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Greetings, Mama Bishop. Mama Bishop has entered the chat. God wow. bless you. Thank you for joining and jumping on and supporting good us. Evening. God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. Wow. Yeah. Good. Oh, how pleasing mm. is it for brethren to dwell together in unity? That was an interesting. That was a interesting uh creative decision in that moment so what else happened so i mean that again that that whole entire episode was yeah pretty much filmed in his in his area where he's where he was at and um Hmm. oh we cannot forget about when he was teaching in the, the gospel yes and yeah. the young man, they were talking about he got into a fight. And yeah. you know, we yeah. know kids fight, that okay? That's that's right. That does happen. That does <laughs> you, know? Happen. you know, we know that. <laughs> kids were fighting. And he mm-hmm. was like, and he was saying, you know, sharing what his um, teacher taught him. Like, well, what about an eye for an eye? Right. You know, right. And, and he couldn't understand why he was punished or what have you. Mm-hmm. And so Jesus, that's when he talked about loving your enemy. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and that piece. Yes. And so that was. You know, they and they were into it. They he were, broke it down too, cause, mm-hmm. cause, cause the 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 young guy had he had a he had a you know he had a question. He mm-hmm. was like, okay, you know, what about an eye for an eye? Yeah, right, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And Jesus broke that thing down for them. I like the fact that Jesus was not, uh, he was not offended. Mm-hmm. Oh God, this 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 
this this is a help a lot of us leaders, right? Mm-hmm. This is this will help a lot of us who uh who uh hold leadership positions uh when when people ask questions. Okay. Right. Talk about to it. To not be to not be offended at people's questions mm-hmm. uh, uh, uh regarding something that you might be teaching. Mm-hmm. Right. And so Jesus was not in any way offended. Right. Right. For the questions. Because when you think about the question, it was in the law. Right. Mm-hmm. It was in the word. Mm-hmm. So he, he said, well, what about this? Cause his point was I was defending myself and, and all of that. And then Jesus uh, lovingly gave him uh, a correction and gave mm-hmm. him full understanding of what that meant. And so Jesus is patience that yes, with children. Absolutely. Wow. We could see this in, in, in two different contexts. We could see ourselves as the children. Mm hmm. Right. Because uh, we are Jesus of little children. Yes. Come on. Because we trying to be in the kingdom. And, and until we become like children. Yeah. Uh, we can't be in the killing kingdom. So uh, we could see ourselves in the lens as children. We're, we're children of Abraham. We're children of God. We're children of light. Right. Right. Um, but in that context of the kingdom, we are children. And that's the preferred posture uh, in the kingdom is to be child like it's right? the greatest the incense <laughs> oh that that's what yeah so that's mm-hmm. what the greatest is according mm-hmm. to the text in matthew number eight chapter 18 mm-hmm. and so um so to see this dynamic at play jesus taking this time to uh address uh on not not snapping at the, at right. the child not not rebuking him for the question but taking his time and being patient mm-hmm. and helping him understand the scriptures help right. them understand uh, what that line in the in the Word of God was. I wish that we could um, show a clip. I, maybe you'll figure out how to do that because I can't quite remember what he said. But he mentioned he said something, and then Joshua was like Isaiah. Mm-hmm. He was like, right? He yeah, quoted yeah, 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 the, yeah, you know yeah, 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 scripture yeah, yeah, from yeah. Isaiah, and I was like, it know. was it was uh, it was um, it was I was anointed. I'm anointed to preach. The good tidings or the good news to the poor. Okay, yeah. The spirit of the Lord is on me. Yes, He has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. Mm-hmm. That was that was that was that, the was, verse. that was the verse. Okay, and so uh uh that was powerful, mm-hmm. right? Because he he saw that these children understood and knew the word, mm-hmm. and uh and, and that young man caught it like mm-hmm. boom. That was that was a powerful one. And that's another point. Yeah, the fact that they they just received it. Yes. They received the word as is. Yes. Like even that little boy, because he had an attitude problem with the one that got in the fight. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was, and Jesus knew that he was a little special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knew that he was a yeah. little, you know, yeah. like, okay, this one here. Yeah. But he was gentle, as you said, patient. Yes. You know, yes. he loved them and, and, and just helped them, brought some understanding. Yes. But they did. And after that, that was it. Yeah. You know, yeah. they, um, they just received the word. Yes. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yes. And they went away with joy, mm-hmm. right? Because they had been with Jesus. Yeah. They had, they had, uh, they had worked mm-hmm. with Jesus, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They um, sang with him. They sang with him. They ate with him. They ate with him. Come on now. Mm-hmm. They that 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 was valuable time spent with them. They added value to their life. And again, a reprieve for Jesus in that moment mm-hmm. of coming through. Uh, whatever he might have been agonizing with in prayer in the opening of that scene. Mm-hmm. That was that was powerful. I wanted to go back real quick to that part where I said that he ate with them. Yeah. I mean they ate with him. Yes. You know, that that second day or third day that she that Abigail came back and he thanked her for not taking the food. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, he sees our hearts. You yes, know, he far off. And, you know, of course, and we know that as adults and as believers, mm-hmm. we know that Jesus knows our hearts, you know, yeah. Christ, he knows knows our hearts, but I just like the way that that, like from a creative standpoint was yeah. acknowledged. Yes. And you know, it affirmed her and her character. Right. You know, and then, and even Joshua being a witness to it, it was mm-hmm. like, okay. Yeah. You know, so I just, I couldn't appreciate all the little pieces of this um, episode that they highlighted mm-hmm. and made significant. Yeah. yeah. When talking about his relation, how he loved. Yes. The little children. Yes. So I, I can appreciate that. And again, to put ourselves in the place of those children. Yes. Right. Because Absolutely. that's what's great 
in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what's great uh, to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that as he defines it, right. Yeah. Culture don't define what's great. Right. right? Uh, uh, um, uh, The news doesn't dictate what's great. Music doesn't dictate what's great. Mm -hmm. Organizations don't dictate what's great. In the kingdom, status the, or yeah, status or wealth, none of that. Because yeah. you know, in the end, yeah. in the end, um, you know, when he left the note for Abigail. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. And he said, you know, he doesn't just come for the wealthy. Oh come on, somebody! That was <laughs> that was the bomb right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's talking yeah. about the humble means that yes. he was. He was living in. He was camping out in the uh, field. Yes. And, you know, and she mentioned, you know, we don't come, we don't have a lot of money. And, mm-hmm. and he was like, well, it's not a bad thing. She's like, I don't know about that. You know, the innocence of kids. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the about honesty, that. Honesty, though. That, yeah. That's, I don't want to lose that, too. Mm-hmm. The honesty. Mm-hmm. The, the honesty. Because I, I think a lot of times, uh, even in our own private uh, conversations with the Lord, um, you know, has some of that attitude on it. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, a little stank on a it. A little stank on <laughs> it, right? And, and and she was like, "I don't know about that, right?" Mm-hmm. But it it didn't it didn't irritate Jesus. Right. It didn't. But oh, the freedom to be able to um, be that honest with oh. Jesus, mm-hmm. right? And still come back uh, with a sense of of praise and mm-hmm. acceptance. Uh, how honest are we with the Lord? How honest are we? Yeah. You know, how how forthcoming are we right. with him? Right, and and not be um, offensive. Not that Jesus you know, yeah, yeah, be yeah. offended, but yeah. she just said it matter-of-factly while yeah. she was eating his grapes and walked off. Right. You know? <laughs> just, <laughs> she just pimped off. Yeah, like, like, oh, time to go. Yeah, I don't know, you know about that. Kid yeah. stuff. That's, you kid know, kid stuff, stuff. Yeah. So, but yeah. 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 But, um, no pretension, no, mm-hmm. you know, like, that's what I love about children, too. Like, mm-hmm. they, they just... To who they are, they're, right? At, at that in that moment, they're not struggling with identity, right? Right? Part. They're they're not struggling with imposter syndrome, and mm-hmm. all that stuff has to press in on them later on, mm-hmm. right? But in this moment right here, they're just so pure. They're just you know they're just unobstructed with uh, foolishness and or or or, or, or the uh, grown up stuff, if right? You will you know? Uh, I love that. I love that. And he calls that the greatest. The greatest. Mm. That's, I mean, that's what the words say, that's y'all. Heavy. Let me go. That's heavy. Let's, let's, say, let's bring it back verse, up. So in they, verse 3, well, so the disciples know. asked him in eight, um, Matthew 18 and 1, you mm-hmm. know, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Mm-hmm. Like, see that adult question? I mean, like, it's a question. It's, and there's yeah. nothing wrong because the kids asked him questions. Yes, he did. Yes, they did. But the point, but Jesus, Jesus knew, like, who's the greatest? <laughs> right, right. Why right. would we ask that question? Right. <laughs> like, I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like, I just, right. I don't know. Right. Anyway, but who's the greatest? And mm-hmm. I know, because you know, as an adult, mm-hmm. you ex- you expect some big grand yeah. answer or some, like, right. grand, like, yeah. You know, I, I can imagine that that's what they might have thought yes. he was going to say. Because we're talking about the greatest in the kingdom the of kingdom. heaven. We're not Ooh. talking about who's the greatest in mm-hmm. um. In Maryland or, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. The, who yeah. is the greatest in the kingdom of in heaven? The kingdom of heaven. Yes. Yes. That question was, it was a lot going on with that. Yeah. And so in verse three, it says, and said, um, surely I say to you, unless mm-hmm. you are converted. Oh, come on now. That's a big piece. It is. And That's become as little children, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Mm. Therefore, whoever humbles himself as a little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one child like this in my name receives me. Mm. So. Wow. wow. It, it's, it's, it's just loaded. Wow. It, it is. It is. It's, it's very loaded because, again, it flies in the face of what culture teaches us. It, mm-hmm. it, it flies in the face of our pride and our, our arrogance. Mm-hmm. Um, and our concept of what the kingdom is. And this is why it's really important to go back and re- revisit the Gospels, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's really important to go back so we could grab these things. I don't care how many times you read the Scriptures, right? Right. 
um, I don't care how many times you uh, might have uh, read through the Bible, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I read through the Bible two, three times, you know. Uh, you're never going to exhaust never. the Word of God. You're always going to find something new. Mm-hmm. That's what's powerful about the Word of God, that it's living. Yes. It's quick. It's active. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Mm-hmm. There's always something that's going to move you and shift you Correct. and challenge you to to come back to this place of uh, being as a child, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, revisiting them is doing is doing something in us, right? Yes. That, that's restorative. That, that's beautiful. That's powerful. And that's lovely. As you were talking, I was thinking about least we become like they did of, of old. Yeah. S- sacrificing the lamb. Oh, yeah, year yeah, after yeah, year, yeah, yeah, year after yeah, yeah, year yeah. after year after year after year. Yeah. And and not, and it just become tradition. Yes. You know, yes. I don't ever want to approach the word like that. I don't ever want to get yeah. so familiar. Yeah. With reading the word mm-hmm. that it's just, oh, I read through the Bible. I read, I, I did a read right. through the Bible. Right. In a year <laughs> program. <laughs> right. right. And I'm not knocking that. Yeah. But yeah. what we're saying is to the, to the, to the um point of this title, this podcast is falling back in love with the word. Yes. That's what we, that, that's the, that's the mission here. Yes. You know, the goal, yes. because it's lovely, it's beautiful, it's, mm-hmm. it's living. Yes. And um, you think about children and how, when you're a kid, you read bedtime stories. Yes, and, you do. You know, just, so yeah. And so sometimes this, the same stuff over and over again. Mm-hmm. You know, you ever had a favorite book? You know, I talked about, uh, I, I talked. I think my book was like Curious George, but I do, I remember, oh no, Cat in the Hat. Cat in the hat. Oh, Cat Lord. in the hat, clearly. Come on now. That's like, oh, and the Bernstein Bears. Come on now. Where oh, are my yeah, people yeah. at? Where are my folks at? <laughs> you, you, but, know, yeah. you know you uh, come from the inner city when those are your two favorite books. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. but um, I, I don't know. I just, but I, I can appreciate this episode, and yeah. I really love th- that Jesus loves the little. Ch- they did an excellent job. Yes, they um, did. Yeah. With portraying his love for children and the time that he took with yes. children and yes. um and then how children received him. It's just so much we can take away from just yes. the posture of Jesus mm-hmm. and the posture of the children. Yes. Um yes. during that episode. So yeah. excellent time. Yeah. And you know, and it and it just like we talked about earlier, mm-hmm. this being Holy Week. Yes. It really just it kind of, it can set you if you want it to, you know, right. set you in a posture of just of humility. Yeah. You know, of yes. being humble. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It, um, I like, I like that. Um, I like how you said uh, just, it'll set us if we, if we let it. Mm-hmm. Right. And it, and it really speaks to the posture of the children in the episodes. Like mm-hmm. they were willing to be shifted. Mm-hmm. They were willing to be moved and corrected and and uh, be in alignment mm-hmm. uh, with whatever Jesus had to share with them. Mm-hmm. And so let this, you know, this week, uh, and I, and I want to give you a, a chance to talk about that a little bit um, as we are uh, coming to um, the more, uh, the part of the Holy Week, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. that... Uh, is heavy mm-hmm. it's is a heavy moment and much like the episode it was it was mm-hmm. heavy in season uh, four in season yeah mm-hmm. it, it, it's heavy mm-hmm. uh, but may our posture still stay in the place as a child mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um yeah. ready to receive unjaded yeah. uh, grateful uh, grateful yes mm-hmm. uh to be in this presence uh crystal says uh are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. I love that. <laughs> Absolutely. What is, what is that? Absolutely. From? That's uh 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 Crystal. Oh oh yeah is yeah. Is there? Oh, she's asking a question. Yeah yeah yeah. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Let's get into the chat real quick and like kind of and see what people are saying or if they had any takeaways they want to share. Yeah or have yeah any yeah insights. yeah. Please For those who are participate with us. on Facebook, YouTube. Thank you. Know, you. We, we yes. can do a lot of talking, but we have a visitor here with us. Shout out to Jose. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Jose, our engineer, who's going to be helping us do, yeah. do a lot of this. Uh, if you could see you, us on the screen, 
you know, uh, I'm doing a lot of the switching and, and things of that nature. Jose is here to help us. Uh, you do have a any lot takeaways or anything you want to share? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll put you a spot. But yeah, but yeah. if anybody has anything in the chat, anything you feel like we missed or anything you want to say about yeah, Holy Yeah, some Week observations. Or yeah. any observations. Yeah, talk to us. Talk to us. Yeah. I'm on Facebook, so I can see the Facebook for the most part. I got to turn around and stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, I see Judd. Hey, Judd, cousin. I think he's still on. People. Jessica was on, cousin Jessica. Bishop was on for a little bit. She says, Hey, yeah. Linda. I see. I said hello. Yeah. Who else do we have here? I see three there's three people. And we might be them three. You, <laughs> <laughs> you me, and Jose. <laughs> Who we got on uh, YouTube. Uh, let's, let's jump over to the YouTube platform to see who's on with us. Uh, I know a lot of our seniors uh, uh, who are getting used to technology. Are, are, are you know trying to figure out okay which one of these things to get on and how do I say something <laughs> yes oh let me go back and read uh cousin Beverly she was the one and yeah she, she said, texted me yes she has said she said um yes he was showing us in a way of how to be thankful and grateful of what you have and to be humble oh Amen. yes oh yes and then she says the kids mostly um times have a sweet spirit and aroma around them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and that glow and that smile Beautiful. makes you makes you um you feel like you're in the room yeah yeah so yeah I, i'm gonna I'm, I'm help you uh learn how to put them comments in in <laughs> youtube because i got you don't even worry about it <laughs> she texts me as well she texts me as well yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's Maynard. He says, "What's up, hey Maynard?" What's happening, Maynard? Thanks for joining us. Yes, Stella says, um, "I was moved by Jesus' Mm -hmm. emotions, crying, yes, listening and watching the kids." Yes, Stella. Mm -hmm. Yes, kids. Something that uh, something about that was emotional to me. Yes, Yes. it was. Oh my, Stella, thank you Mm -hmm. for bringing that up because I remember that part. It was like he was. It was. It was um, it was feeding him. Like I yeah. feel like he was just taking it in and just yeah. Like he was, it was, it was a. I feel like it was a double cry. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like it was a. He was rejoicing and at the same time he was maybe feeling a little grieved or yeah. feeling a little like, you know. But I feel like I yes though that's an excellent point. That's beautiful. I, I really I really like that yeah. time too because it did it did make me feel kind of like ah oh, like he was so. Yeah, he was overwhelmed with joy. Yeah, because you know, you know, it's so innocent. But at the same, oh, that was that was powerful. Yeah, yeah, that was powerful. It was. Thank you like, for sharing that. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, I think, in the midst of maybe perhaps the agony he was experiencing mm-hmm. in prayer, uh, this reprieve came in the form of, uh, I know I have to do something. Mm-hmm. I have to be the sacrifice. I have to go through this moment. Mm-hmm. But it was like he came face to face with the joy. Yeah. Oh, set before him. Set before him. Come on, way to go back and, and that get was that verse. The children. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's yeah. why I'm doing this for the joy. <laughs> and that that. Yeah. 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 If 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 I had to pick a scripture and sum that up, what they were that was that was the picture yeah. of the joy set before them. Yes, before him. Yes, yes. Was yes. That? Hebrews twelve and two. That's not that verse, but it talks about him. Well, maybe it is. But um, yeah. Crystal said, uh, "Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. It's one of her favorite books." Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I have to look into that book. She yeah. says, "Children are a gift. Yes, yes, they are. They are. Mm-hmm. They're a gift in some so many ways. It's, and I believe Jesus, he feels the same way about his children. Yeah, that we are a gift. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, indeed. For but the they joy. were the joy. Yeah, set before him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah. We looking, looking unto Jesus in Hebrews twelve and two, mm-hmm. the author and finisher of our faith, who yeah. for the joy." For the joy that was set before him. Come on here now. Endured the cross. Mm. Despising the shame. Yes. And has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Mm. My Lord. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My Lord. That's what this week is about. That's what it's about. That's why he's taking this trek. Mm. 
the Lamb of God entering into the home of Israel mm. to be crucified on the fifth day. Mm-mm-mm. Palm Sunday, Shabbat, Passover season, mm-hmm. Friday, he is sacrificed. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Then the next feast is unleavened bread right after that. Jesus' unleavened body, sinless body, mm. is laid in a tomb. Mm. Wow. But when he rises again, mm. on that third day, <clears throat> there's another feast happening. Oh, my. It's the first fruit. Oh my! Oh my goodness! And him being the first fruit of the resurrection, man, this is good stuff. This is gonna have to come back and get that. Like, yeah, we finished this series with going through the chosen, but it's so good. And yes, I I just that piece that that Hebrews verse stuff really, really it hit different now. Yes, it does. (laughs) It hit real different now. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. The joy set before him. Yeah, yes. I, I really. Mm-mm-mm. And then I think somewhere else, and he was talking about his obedience unto death. Yes, you know, yes. So yeah, yeah. But those kids, they were the joy. Yeah, that he, you know, a picture. I mean, I'm done. I'm done for. Yeah, him, yeah. Just put, just put the me. Anybody else? Any other takeaways? Crystal <laughs> said yes. The way he loves us. Yes, amen. But again, I have to, because you know it's so easy for us to. um Look at that episode and mm-hmm. and and just see children, right, right, and just see them, and and as a way of separation, like we grown, but no, in a very real way, see us. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yes, they right. That's there. that's how we should be. This if if there's any reenactment that needs to be going on, that needs to be us reenacting. <laughs> the children yeah. coming back to a sense of wonder yes. Com- coming back to a sense of curiosity yes uh coming back to a place of just wanting to be in his presence mm-hmm. wanting to be around him and and happy to work for him mm. honored to work for him to ask him questions that I, and to I, learn of him and to learn of him come on somebody <laughs> Moses says, and to teach eat with me him. a way. And to eat, come on now. What, what the word say? He said he will come in and he will sup with us. Right? He will come in and he will make his abode with us. Yes. Yes. All of the things. So uh, I, I, don't, I don't want the episode to be lost on us yeah. as adults to say, you know, oh, yeah, Jesus loved the little children. I put that up there. Uh, but I know it's not as uh, a tantalizing or. Or, or or hot hot like yeah. title to to troll and pull people in, but when you really see it through the lens of Jesus, He's saying, "Hey, this is how you be great. You become like these children." And listen, I would <laughs> rather look at children and look at us to to, to think about the joy set before. <laughs> like, well, to look at a you know, them disciples was a trip. Yeah, you know, and it's yeah. like. I got to go to the cross for the evil. No, right. you know, he loved us, but the children were just more delightful. I like <laughs> the placement of the storytelling because uh, as we pick up the episodes, uh, you'll see that uh, he started dealing with adults, right? Mm-hmm. People who uh, who have okay. kind of lost that sense of wonder. And right? had adult problems. That, that had adult problems, adult issues, uh, uh, uh being uh, 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 different philosophies and mm-hmm. and uh, uh, teachings and and uh, schools of thought pressing in on their understanding of and 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 really wrestling with coming to, even as disciples understand even though they recognize who he was mm-hmm. and understood who he was even Peter got the revelation that you know you are you are the uh, the Son of God you are Messiah uh, they still wrestle with how he would do a thing, how he would, how he would come and what he would do when he come. Mm-hmm. Right. And so they wrestle with the ideas of uh, rabbinic Judaism and, and all of those things that, that they were expecting someone other than this person that the children saw in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> like he, he, 
uh, as far as checking boxes mm-hmm. uh, of kings, <laughs> as it were, uh, yeah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how how interesting is, is it that he would choose to reveal himself mm-hmm. to the children? Yeah, that that was powerful. That was. I, I think he probably needed that kind of uh, reprieve. Uh, Cause he getting ready to start dealing with some adults. I'm telling you, <laughs> we 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 can be a real piece of work. They they <laughs> they over here fighting over position and who's great and who's not. And and Jesus pulled that little kid on over and said, "Yeah, this is great. Unless you become like that, you can't enter the kingdom." Yeah. Yes. Amen. Judy said the children protected him, and Abigail had them make a pact. To keep him a secret. Oh, Judy. Ooh, that was good, yes. Judy. Yes. That was good, Judy. Judy must be watching simultaneously. That That's part. A, that part right there. That's Oh, heavy. I totally forgot about that That's part. Heavy. Yes. Thank you, Judy. Oh, Thank my you. Goodness. That that was a part not to be missed or yes. overstated. How about that? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was not playing with them. She said, no. we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep him a secret. She mm-hmm. knew who he was. Yeah, yeah, the one who didn't go to Hebrew school. Right, that part. Ooh, see, read your Bibles. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shout out Abigail. Right, <laughs> we 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 in Women's that, History Month. Uh huh. I just want to shout out Abigail. She had she had that on lock. She understood. Mm-mm-mm. She she was the MVP in this episode. Yeah, for real. Yeah, like, she had all she was evangelizing the evangelizing right and everything. Yes, she did. She was doing everything. <laughs> Shepherding. Like, she yes, she was. <laughs> she was an evangelist. She was. I'm telling you. She. I mean, she was the. She was one. a prophet. She was a she prophet. Said, I, see, yeah. I told you he was. I told you he was. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> she was everything. So yes. Yeah. She forgot about that. Was powerful. Yeah. Girl was the bomb. Yes, she was. Oh yes, she was. She, may may we all be like. Abigail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, may we all be like uh, 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 Joshua the Brave. The, the Brave. Mm-hmm. Yes. May we all become like children Yes. once again in his presence. Yes. I mean, yeah, that was full. That, that was, was packed. Mm-hmm. That was packed. That was packed. That was packed. You got anything else for the people you want to share? Anything, other insights that you want to uh, talk about uh, before we wrap this episode up? I'm going to end with this. When the, the, the big house that he left her, the little wooden mansion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go there. Go <laughs> there. Get saying, that one. Get that he one. He left her a nice little doll house. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. And, it, you know, like almost a depiction of, you know, in my yeah. father's house, there are many There mansions. are many mansions. Come <laughs> on here now. Talk about it. Get that revelation. <laughs> Oh, that was big. Yeah. 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 He yeah. left her. I mean, she had the bomb Barbie house. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. So, yeah. That was I, that was beautiful. But, you know, her being from, from humble means. Yes. You know, that's something that her mother couldn't afford. We yes. saw her little doll her mom made her. Yes. Um. Yes. And, yeah, so. And a love note. Yes. Oh, and a love note. Mess me up now, babe. Come on now. And a love Ooh. note. Right? Because Jesus yeah. wanted her to know that he, he saw her. Mm-hmm. I see you. And that's what I love. That's mm. what I love about it. When when you're when we're as children, mm-hmm. right? Like, like that attention. Mm. And at Matthew 18, he says, Look, th- this is what I'm looking for. Th- these are the qualities I'm looking for in my kingdom. Mm. And he gave Abigail. His focus attention. Mm. He was watching her. And rewarded her. Rewarded her. Telling that house. Oh, come on now. <laughs> come on now. He gave her a prophetic gift. You might be poor in this life. You might, you might not have everything. You might not have the advantages of the other children. Mm-hmm. But this one, this gift right here is for you. Yeah. That 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 yeah. Yeah. You that know, another me. scripture comes to mind too, and it. Let's see what Stella said. I knew it was some significance of that. <laughs> Thank you for breaking it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, um, you know how the scriptures and um Psalms, and again, I I just love this because it's just 
we get to have fun in the word and yeah again use our imagination but you yes. know how it says um I think, I think it's in psalms like under the shadow of the almighty mm. like he that dwell in the secret place yes of the most and i high. felt like even the placement yeah. like he didn't put that in her house he 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 left it where he met her yes in Ooh. that space that he occupied oh come on <laughs> so i just feel like you know, I know it's a movie, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 but no, it's no, just no, good. No. But you it, know it, what I mean? It cannot be that was her secret place. Yes. Yes. That was her secret place. Yes. Yes. That's powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He he put the gift in the place that he met her. That that's that's prophetic. Mm-hmm. In in the place that we meet with him. That's where he leaves the she gifts got, and yeah. churches. Yeah, he got, she got a reward in her gift. Yeah. <sighs> That's heavy. <sighs> That's heavy. Listen, y'all, you know, we could go on and on and on. But listen, um, thank y'all for joining us tonight. Mm-hmm. Y'all are the real MVPs. <laughs> 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 yeah. All the things, y'all, all the things. Uh, we appreciate everybody who joined us. Uh, to all of our YouTube viewers, all of our Facebook friends and family, thanks for jumping on here with us. Uh, please give us a like and a follow on YouTube uh, as well as Facebook. Uh, we're tuning in. We're going to show up every week. Uh, so next week, here's, here's the deal. Next week is Watch Party. We're going to watch episode four together. Mm-hmm. Season one, episode four, we're going to watch it together. Right. So we're going to have a watch party so we can do this however you want to do it. Right. You could you could tune in and I could, we could share our screen and you can watch it from there or you could watch it at home and have your chat up so we could talk about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Let's let's have conversations around episode number four, season one. And uh, man, that's that's going to be fun that we're going to have a good time with that one. Um, yeah. What do you think about that? No, I think it's good. I was just going to say, if you haven't watched um, um, episodes one, two, and three, yes. you might want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> so, definitely, definitely. So you can, um, definitely. Somebody watch. said, somebody said, I, we need to watch, uh, we need to watch, I need to watch it. Yes, you do. Yes. Because oh, yes. you somebody definitely want to yeah. be, be able to hop in on a conversation mm-hmm. and, and know what it is that we're talking about because I'm telling you, yeah. it is something to behold so yes. um yeah so watch party mm-hmm. watch party uh next week um uh, wednesday i'll be sending out the invitation to everybody we're watching season one episode uh four live uh you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss it be there be there we're going to send the uh we're going to send it out as soon as this episode uh ends i'm going to send out the uh, invitations. Uh, we're going to set it up. It's already queued up for next week. Join us again. Uh, go to the chosen, uh, dot TV. Okay. <laughs> go <laughs> like. to the chosen dot TV and, uh, uh, you could go there or you could download the app, the mm-hmm. chosen, the chosen app. app. Mm-hmm. You can download it and watch it directly from the app for free, for free, mm-hmm. free 99. Like, yep. like, please, uh, 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 join us and join in on the conversation. Yes. Uh, share the invite with your friends and family and let's have this conversation together. Let's fall in love with the word of God all over again. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You want to, you want to give, uh, you want to give any parting words to, uh, our listening audience here. Thank you again, family and friends for joining us. Uh, this has been a fantastic evening uh i didn't know that 30 minutes was gonna be that power pack i mean that i'm telling you full. <laughs> all i was gonna say not all i was gonna say but mm-hmm. i just wanted to reiterate mm-hmm. you know what the greatest means yes jesus and you know being as a child and that the hebrews 12 and 2 scripture for the joy set before him yes he endured the cross so just you know Resting yeah. in that word and, and, and keeping your gaze on, on, on him and what Absolutely. he did as we go through the rest of the week. Yes. This is my encouragement. Yes. Yes. That's where I'm going to be. <laughs> I know that's right. Happy Holy Week. Mm-hmm. 
uh, to us uh, um, for the remainder of the week. Again, uh, give us a like and share and follow. Um, if you go to YouTube, uh, hit that notification bell and you will be notified every time we drop a new episode. So um, hope to see you again next week um, uh, for uh, our, our uh, watch party. Yes. Season one, episode four. Mm-hmm. Is I think that's the episode that that jacked me up. I okay. think that might be <laughs> that might be the episode that that tore me up okay. uh, uh, as we journey further into uh, falling in love with the Word of God via uh, the Chosen. Again, visit thechosen.tv uh, to watch uh, also the Chosen uh, app on your iPhone or Android phone, and either of those stores, the both of those apps are there. If you have Amazon Prime, they are now playing on Amazon Prime. They sure are. So you could catch, you could catch all the way up. Now listen, we're watch partying next week for episode four of season one. But please, I, listen, we are binge watch nation. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and binge watch them things. And I'm telling you, there's always going to be something new that mm-hmm. you'll discover as as we're walking through this thing together. So feel free to do that. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, I'm your you. host, Lamont Warren. That's my lovely wife over there, Linda Warren. Ain't she gorgeous? I love that hair. Come on, girl. Let's get off this thing. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Good Thanks night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Till next time, y'all. All right. Peace. Right. Love it. Nah, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next time. See you next time. Peace.